district officials, Garland officials, and police department officials to set up a security plan for this event. The security concerns that they had was because of, of the top event and the speaker that they were having and issues that had been uh, with those folks before. A plan was formalized. Uh, GISD uh, added officers, our officers, and I'll explain that Garland police officers work at the event center all the time as an off-duty job. And that's what the case was uh, last night for everybody that was seen and then some uh, SWAT personnel that was in the back. The event paid, they paid an additional $10,000 for that security last night. The plan included GISD security officers, uniformed police officers, bomb personnel, SWAT personnel, along with FBI and ATF. The event began at 5 p.m. and was to go to 7 p.m. The event was going very smoothly, and about 10 minutes to 7, a dark-colored vehicle pulled up to the west entrance parking lot. There was a police officer, a police car there blocking that entrance, a police officer in it along with a GISD security officer. When that car pulled up and stopped, those officers began to exit their vehicle and two men exited the dark colored sedan. Both of them had assault rifles, came around the back of the car and started shooting at the police car. The police officer in that car began returning fire and struck both men, taking them down. At the same time that that was starting, we could actually hear gunfire around the parking lot. We had a REACT, SWAT REACT team in the back that very quickly responded within seconds and helped secure the scene. Both of those men died there on the street next to their car. As soon as they got that secured, our bomb unit and what we know and what we've trained on, it's very likely that these people that do this may well rig themselves or their vehicles with bombs. And so we started taking that precaution. We started widening an area and securing that. That included businesses around in the area. That included the sports academy just behind the event center, the Sonic Drive-In, Sam's, Walmart, uh, to mention those. On the other side of Garland Road, we did not evacuate any of those. We also evacuated the Hyatt Hotel that's right behind the center. Once we got that done, uh, many of you were there and we continued to work uh, the vehicle from the bomb unit side. Uh, they detonated as they started working uh, the vehicle. There were several detonations of things they were finding. One of the first detonations you heard was to open the trunk of the vehicle. Once that was open, they found several things that they were suspicious of and continued to uh, ignite those and look into those there were no bombs found in the vehicle. The um, site is still an active crime scene this morning. Um, the FBI forensics along with our forensics unit is working that. Uh, and again, it's an ongoing, uh, an ongoing situation. The, um, the concern yesterday and today and every day that we work here is the safety of everybody in this city, visiting and the folks that live here. We set up a plan yesterday to keep those people safe. We had one incident where the uh, security officer was shot. He was shot in the lower leg, was taken to the hospital and treated and later released. He was the only one hurt in this incident yesterday. Because of the way we were set up, we were able to stop those men before they were able to penetrate the area and shoot anybody else or attempt to shoot anyone else. And for that, that plan was successful that we, uh, that we set up. Once we were working last night, of course, we were stressed on personnel, Plano, Irving, DPS, again, along with FBI and ATF, uh, continued to assist us and assisted us last night.
with that, I'll take some questions. Can you confirm the men's names and whether they're two suspects and whether, and in fact, there is a connection between the event that is happening <clears throat> and these men? There's a lot of things that I know is going out, and some pe people are releasing names. We are not releasing any names. Um, uh, again, at some point they will be, but we are not releasing any names at this time. So what do you think was the intent or the motivation of the suspect? Uh, obviously, they were there to shoot people. Uh, we will continue to um, investigate. This is not going to be a real fast investigation. Uh, we've got our suspects. We continue to monitor social media and other, gather, uh, other intel uh, to make sure that we're not getting any more or any threats. Um, so we don't know their intent other than we know that they were willing to pull up and start shooting on police. Do you expect was, this any other? Terrorist attack? was this a terrorist attack? We're certainly looking into that. We've not, we have not knocked that out, but uh, again, we're working with the FBI, we're, and we will eventually figure out what that is. Do you expect any other arrests, any haters, abettors, anything like that? Not at this time. Uh, again, we're working with the FBI. There's a lot of things in motion right now, um, but uh, I don't know of any other arrests at this time. Did y'all have enough people out there? We're hearing that requests for additional SWAT personnel were denied and that only half of SWAT team was actually on the team. We had enough personnel there. We had the REACT team that was there very quickly, and yes, we had enough people on scene. I don't know that. Joe, what, what, at what point did these men get to the Dallas area? Do you know? No, we don't. That's part of the investigation. Uh, again, there was some luggage in the back, so we're not sure when they actually got here. Can you talk about what else you found in the trunk to detonate it? Uh, luggage, I know, I, and I don't know what all was inside that luggage. Uh, I'm sorry. I know that there was a, uh, additional ammunition for their rifles. I don't know if there were any other weapons at this time. Sir, so in the days leading up to, to yesterday, part of the, the security planning, were these two suspects, people that you guys were made aware of, pictures given to you guys? be on the lookout for these guys? Not that I'm aware of, no. Have, have there been any specific threats made or any intelligence received about potential uh, threats to these men? No, with anything like this, uh, we continue to look every single day uh, at things. Had there been chatter over a month or so from time to time, yes, but no specific threat. So with Joe, the with Garland, the ISD contact you, was that Friday that you all began to put this plan together? Oh, no, this is several months ago. Several months, several months ago. ago. So your plan was in place in ATF? Or this weekend? Correct. How Correct. How many officers, how many total uh, Garland PD at uh, Garland ISD? We're not releasing that right now. Hey, Joe, uh, I can tell you that it was $10,000 that was spent on additional officers. Joe, when they exited the vehicle, did they say anything to the officers in the security guard? Not that I've been told. From from what it appears, they simply got out and started firing. Joe, the first officer was found on let's them. Do, let's do one at a time. Did the first officer take down the suspects or did the SWAT team? Uh, first officer put down both suspects. When you talk about that sequence, uh, the car pulled up, was there, was there was the Garland ISD officer who was hit, was there another police officer right with him? I, I, you, they were both in the same car, both exited. Go that again. How does that sequence work? Okay, they were both sitting in the same car and they had that entrance blocked, sitting in a squad car. As that car stopped, both started getting out of the car, the men came around and that's when they saw the rifles and the men opened up on them and our officer started shooting back. Now, I'm sorry. Uh, actually, the officer that was shooting is a traffic officer. And the security officer did not have a uh, did not have a weapon. Correct. So words, he he, he was not armed. I said you addressed that. So the officer who was there in the car, he's the one who took down both of the. Correct. Joe, Joe, did the men look like they were wearing some sort of protection on them. Can you tell us what they were wearing? I I don't have details. I was told that they did have body protection on. Don't know what type. Joe, you mentioned. That's what we're working on now. So on social, you mentioned monitoring social media. Literally in the minutes before the shooting, there were some tweets perhaps from the shooters themselves. There was a hashtag called Garland shooting Texas attack. Are you aware of those tweets? Yes, we are. Yes, we are, but we don't know that it was those people that put that out. That's, what, that's one of the things we're working on. Joe, the attendees, um, are they being taken care of? Where are they right now? Good question. Uh, the attendees last night, uh, everybody, there's approximately 200 people inside the event center. Uh, Garland Independent School District buses were brought to the center. 
they were taken away from there. So a lot of these people uh, don't even live in Garland. In fact, this event really doesn't have much to do with Garland other than they, are, they rented a site here in Garland. Uh, they were taken away. Uh, most of them made plans to uh, go stay somewhere. Their vehicles are still at uh, the event center because, again, the crime scene's still being worked. Uh, we ended up putting a number of them up in a hotel and taking care of them until they're able to get to their cars. Yo, I know you're not naming the individuals, <clears throat> but surely you know their names. Are they on a watch list of any type? Do not sure. I, I'm not sure of that. Do we think we know who they are? Yes. But you're asking questions I'm not aware of yet. Are, yeah. are they U.S. US citizens? Are these men U.S. citizens or are they foreign? So we don't I, I don't know that. Can you talk about the relation between the two men? Like I, I, don't, I don't know that. Again, I, there's a lot of things you're asking. There's an ongoing investigation. There are some people probably know more than I do, but I don't know that. Yo, are, are you guys working with the Phoenix Police Department in this investigation? We, we are not. Can you, can you talk again about the weapons that were used by the officer and by the two suspects? The officer was using his duty pistol. They were using assault rifles. Joe, can you tell us, I know you're not going to give us the officer's name, but can you tell us how long he's been on the department and how he reacted to what was going down in front of him last night? He was a, he's a tenured officer. I don't know exactly how many years, uh, but with what he was faced with and his reaction uh, and his shooting with a pistol, uh, he did a good job. And Joe, you mentioned last night that when you were initially presented with the, or the Department of the Security plan, that you went back to them and say this needed to be beefed up. Can, can you, what, do, I, did, did I get, do I understand that correctly? That say that again. That when the security plan was presented to you guys for this, for this particular event, that you guys recommended that, I thought you said last night, that you, need, they, you needed more security here. No, no. We addressed them as we were setting it up. We told them what security we thought they needed, and that's what that's what they adhered to. You mentioned that no bodies were found in the car, just uh, weapons. Can you just be a little more specific as to what actually was detonated or what was exploded? Again, I know that there were suitcases. Uh, there were some things that they could not penetrate. So for safety's sake, they detonated and, and got into those. Uh, but so far as finding any bombs in the vehicle, they did not. Was that those EMP? Yes. Do we think they drove here? Or drove here? Or drove here? You know, that, that's something I don't know. I, I don't know about the car. I don't know. With suitcases in the car, you'd almost think they drove, but I don't know that. And how many shots were fired and all? Multiple shots. Uh, there's a lot of casings out there. I have no idea how many shots. Yes, you sir. talked about the two suspects. Were, was there anybody else picked up at the scene? And why did they connect there, there was a man that was in the area that we detained that we thought might be a suspect in this. However, after we interviewed him, he was not a part of this event and he was released. Okay. You talked about White Garland ISD. Uh, well, White Garland ISD, I know they've commented on this, but why they allowed to have this event there at the, at the center? Again, you would have to talk with them. What we do is when, when they have an event there uh, and they ask us for, we have police officers work security there all the time. Uh, they came to us with this event, said they were going to do that, um, and asked about security, and we assisted with that. The vehicle that they were driving, is it a state, uh, a Texas license plate vehicle? I don't know that. I haven't seen the car or the tag. At this point, can, we, can you say that it is believed that, that, that the shooting was related to the event? I mean, can you make that statement yet? Again, we are gaining knowledge as we go, but right now, just as last night, we were focused on not having anybody else hurt, and we were looking at possible bombs. Today, <coughs> forensically, we're doing everything. We may have the uh, forensics done late this afternoon, but as you see, that's going to be almost a 24-hour event uh, by the time they finish, if they finish then. so. As we get that done, we learn things there, continue to run things down, we will know more. And as we do, we will let you all know. Joe, could, Joe. You, could you brag a bit more about your officer here? I yeah. mean, I think the scenario is two guys with assault rifles <coughs> who may be wearing protective gear up against one officer with a service pistol. Fair to say he did a hell of a job last night. He did, he, he, he did what he was trained to do. Um, and under the fire that uh, he was put under, 
he did a very good job and probably saved lives. Uh, we think their strategy was to get to the event center, into the event center, and they were not able to get past that outer perimeter that we had set up, which was part of that security. And what about the, the whole idea of holding this event in that venue? Uh, is that something that police departments would give input on where the, the PD might make recommendations <coughs> in the future or, or in retrospect, you know, would, would holding the event something that the police department thinks was a wise idea? Are you, you comment on that? Well, certainly after, after this event and after the event that was in January, I think it's very safe to say that officials will be looking into this as to what they're going to rent that out, but that's not for us to address right now. What we're focused on is what happened yesterday, uh, making sure that we do everything that we need to do uh, at that crime scene and that everything that we believe happened, we can prove happened. And, and is, is it Garland ISD, though, who makes the decision whether to rent that venue they control eventually? That's correct. And the officer who was shot, he got out of the car unarmed, what did he, uh, did he look for cover or did he try to attack? The, the uh, no, he did not try to attack. Uh, again, he was hit in the lower leg. Uh, from what I'm being told, we believe he simply just stepped out of the car and that's about the time the gunfire started. So your officer, the one who, who had his pistol that killed the two men, he was, he was normally assigned to special traffic duty? Yes. Do you know, is this the first time he's had to fire, even fire you know, I don't know that. I, I don't know that. So he would have been working off the duty of the venue? Yes. Did the, Do you know if Arlen ISD still plans to hold graduation ceremonies in that building? I, I haven't heard any differently. And another thing, there's uh, Damon Forest High School is right next door. They're having classes today. We've opened that area up, and to my, my understanding, everybody's shown up. It's business back as usual. However, naturally, uh, our awareness is heightened because of this yesterday. but. We do this, we, we do intel, we've got people that work on task forces. Uh, we conduct intel to try to keep our citizens safe in this city every single day, just as we did yesterday in the plan we'd put together. There's no doubt that it saved lives. Is that where graduation is going to be at the school opening? There's graduations that are scheduled there. Is that also for tax CMLA? Yes, that's part of GISD. Yeah, okay. So the suspects, did they come out of the vehicle already holding with the assault rifles? Or yes, they no. Or the back of the car? And get no, they came out with them. Sir, can you okay. talk to the increased presence at uh, the high school specifically? Is there an increased law enforcement presence there? There is added, uh, added enforcement, or not enforcement, but added personnel there simply because uh, there are parents that are worried because of what happened yesterday. We still got a crime scene there. Uh, so yes, there is added personnel today. And the sure. men, the I'm going to take two more questions. The shooters, you don't know what they were. There was some kind of body armor. You don't know. The I was told that they did have body armor. I don't know the extent of what the body armor sure. was. The woman who organized this is reportedly on the narcotic hit list. Is she under your protection, or where is she? Now? She's not under our protection that I know of. I have no idea where she is. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. You know when the next update will be, Joe? Is there another? The uh, we will. This afternoon, uh, as as they start to put out or get this crime scene wrapped up, we will try to do another one probably around the 3.30 time, but I'll put that out, okay? But in fact, we'll say around 3.30, okay? Just looking? Yes, same part. Thank you. Thank you.